This is the lightest football boot in the world. It's called the Puma Ultra SL and it weighs just 90 grams. Nine zero. <laughs> In other words, it is stupidly light. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this really crazy, but also very, very spectacular piece of technology. And of course, yes, I am going to look at the comfort and the fit and the touch on the ball, but of course also on the safety and the durability of these bad boys. But seriously, 90 grams. Damn. So, as most of you probably know by now, Puma just released the Ultra 1.1, which is super fast and super light, but they actually wanted to take their lightweight game even further. Some of you might remember the Puma Evo Speed SL, the first generation and the second generation, which weighed 102 grams and was the lightest mass-produced boot ever. It also had the lifespan of a Mayfly and durability of an eggshell and was supposed to last you around 10 games, but usually actually lasted less than that. But with that said, it was an absolutely crazy and unique experience at the time. But it seems like Puma thought, hey, let's not just make the lightest mass-produced boot ever that was beaten to the title as the lightest ever by the 99 gram Adi Zero, but they just wanted to make the lightest boot ever full stop. So they actually beat the 99 gram Adi Zero by nine grams and made the Ultra SL. And I'm not 100% sure if they actually deliberately went for the title or if they just kept shaving off grams until they couldn't save any more components, but I'm pretty sure that they're not too unhappy with holding the title and beating the guys from the other side of the road in Herzog in Naurach probably had a little party to celebrate, but that's cool. Now, if the box is to believe, light equals fast. And since these are really, really light, logic would tell us that they're also really, really fast. And to emphasize just how fast they are, Puma teamed up with Remac or Remats, as it's actually called if you pronounce it in Croatian. Now that is a Croatian car manufacturer that makes the fastest electronic cars in the world. And yes, they are indeed stupidly fast. They go from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 1.9 seconds with a top speed of 412 kilometers an hour. So yeah, stupidly fast indeed. But there's actually a story around that top speed because Puma made the Ultra SL in 412 pairs in the world. Mine is number two, by the way. But apart from that and Remac having their logo and their name on the boot, I'm not sure if there's a bigger story with car components and all that jazz around it. But with that said, it's a pretty nice way for Puma to continue their legacy of having car manufacturing collaborations on some of their speed boots. And it's nice for Remac too. Before this, I had no idea who they were. Now I know I want one. Badly. But how is it possible to make a football boot that weighs only 90 grams and still works? Well, basically, Puma cut away every single component that is absolutely essential to the construction of the boot. And then, of course, use the lightest and thinnest materials that they have at their disposal. So the upper is made with this super thin, very, very lightweight woven textile that's exposed in places, which means that you can actually see through the upper of the boot. Now then the upper has been coated with a similarly very thin silicone layer. It has a super thin knit tongue piece and what I think is the thinnest suede heel liner and foam insole I've ever seen in my life. It also has a micro thin P-Bax outsole with only two studs in the heel because weight basically and it just screams at you how Puma have obsessed over every single little gram that they could save. And yes, 
It is a little flimsy in hand, but I gotta be honest, it's also pretty awe-inspiring because it's just so thin and light. I mean, it's hard to believe, really. But the big question is, how do these actually feel? Well, as I mentioned before, in hand, it's, it's a little bit weird, to be honest. And my first reaction when I took them out of the box was, no way. I also gave it to some of my colleagues and they couldn't really get their heads around just how light it was either because the upper is literally paper thin. And when you're used to dealing with football boots, it's just a really unusual and quite surreal experience but also pretty intriguing. And with that said, the fit when you have it on foot is a lot better than I expected, to be honest, because Puma built this on the same last or the same foot shape as the Evo Speed SLs that we saw previously. And that means that it's relatively low cut and also relatively tight fitting. But because the upper is so thin and so light, it feels like you're wearing nothing on your feet. And that's, that's kind of funny, actually. The thing is that unlike other lightweight speed boots where you feel that there's at least something around your foot, you don't really feel anything in the Ultra SL. Nothing around the angle or on top of the foot or at the toe box. There's just nothing there. And that's actually really comfortable, but in a super weird way, because you just, you don't have anything on your foot, basically. But of course, that also means that you don't get any stability or cushioning or lockdown whatsoever. But you feel free, and the outsole is really responsive, and that counts for a lot as well. On the ball, it's technically like playing barefooted, but with just a bit more grip which is nice when you dribble, if you're into that sort of thing, because you feel everything. But if you're the kind of guy to strike the ball again and again and again, it also starts to hurt your foot a little bit at some point. And I wasn't particularly fun of that. And I don't even want to think about what it's like going into a tackle in the Ultra SL. I'll be honest, I haven't done it because I actually like my feet and the ability to walk. And I seriously think that the socks I'm wearing today are thicker than the upper on the Ultra SL, to put it into perspective. And yes, it's also probably the most unique experience you can get in a football boot today. It's also a really fun experience, but I don't really think I'm ever going to want to take these into a match, because they're just too thin. And I reckon you need to have some really specific preferences to want to wear this on a regular basis, because they're just so extreme. Finally, I also promised to mention durability, which, due to the thickness of the upper, of course, won't be fantastic. And actually, Puma told me that you should only wear these on firm, natural grass pitches. Just like you wouldn't take an F1 car off-road either. So... Oops. But fair being fair to Puma, they seem to hold up better than the Evo Speed SLs, despite actually being 12 grams lighter. And that extra little thicker coating of silicone on the toe actually also means that I haven't seen any sign of splitting around the toe yet. Again, no, they're probably not gonna last you two seasons if you wear them regularly, which also means that I would either get them and put them on the shelf if you're a collector or simply save them for those really special occasions where you just need to feel super light on your feet and very, very ready. At least if you get them, don't do like me and wear them on AG unless you like to see boots fall apart because you probably will. So, 260 euros, that's also some sort of money. But after all, these are the lightest football boots in history and quite frankly, an absolutely outrageous experience for good and for bad. See, the Remag cars, I'm told, are ridiculously fast, but I actually feel that the Ultra SL lives up to the Remag name because they're quite something on their own. And for what they are, 
I actually think they're pretty cool. And if you're the same and you want a pair, you can go and buy one of the 412 pairs in the world if you're fast like a Remark car from Unisportstore.com right over there. You can, of course, also get extra internet points if you make sure to go subscribe to the channel with the notifications on right now. You can, of course, tell us what you think of these ridiculously light boots in the comment section right down below. And if you want to learn some wicked skills, the playlist right down there is a fantastic way to start. And with that said, guys, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.